guys, Jaden here, and welcome back to another video. It's that uh, time of year again. Me? I can't believe it. Christmas has snuck up on me once again. <clears throat> it's, it's faster and faster every year. It's, it's amazing. I guess that's called getting older. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I figured. Uh, Hi. I figured it's me. Uh, Christmas is a good time to talk about the channel and just kind of wrap up the year, you know, and just say what I'm looking forward to next year and. I'll be doing a New Year's live stream, maybe, uh, but if not, there'll definitely be a video for New Year's, so I'll be able to talk about more of my plans for the future with that. Uh, it's going to be our five-year anniversary in February, which is absolutely insane. Not really any good at it what yet. Going on? Uh, that's not the background that I chose. I worked really, really hard. Oh my goodness, we're back here. Oh, hi, Monica. Oh, what the heck, man. Monica, I mean, I like what you did with the place, but, uh... <laughs> Alright, you know, I did kind of regret deleting you. I felt really bad afterwards, so, uh... At least we'll figure out how to fix it, I guess. You really should visit me more often. You know what happens to people I don't like after- Whoa! Whoa now! Whoa! I'm just teasing you. Don't be so gullible, I would never hurt you. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, I don't know how to react to this situation. The Christmas decor is really nice, the windows are better, I like the space, but you know, the snow- the snow is good, man. This is- I could get used to this. <laughs> Hey Jaden, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Oh, that's a tough one. I do love me some vanilla. Classic vanilla is really good. If we're just talking about other flavors though, rainbow sherbet's always good. Cookies and cream, that's kind of a given. I like vanilla and I like Oreos. And no, I'm not a type of ice cream. Aw, oh, dang it! Aw, oh, that would have been, aw. Oh, dang it, that would have been cheesy but adorable. Personally, I just can't get enough of mint-flavored ice cream. Mint's alright. What about you? Do you like mint? Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm so glad somebody loves mint. I don't know if I love it as much as you, but I like it. Maybe we really were meant to be. Anyway, back on topic. If you love mint as much as I think you do, then I have some recommendations for you. Flavors which are unique, just like how mint is. Perhaps you've heard of them, but they're super weird stuff like fried ice cream, which is really crunchy and crisp kind of thing, but it tastes a million times better than it may sound. Gosh, just imagine the taste makes me practically drool. There's some more strange stuff that's just as appealing, if not more, like honeycomb and bubblegum ice cream. Now, I know it may be hard to take my word for some of those, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, you know? After all, the game didn't allow you to fall in love with me, but look where we are now. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Christmas. That's not how you spell Christmas. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, Jaden. I let my mind wander a bit when I think about the festive tunes that come along this time of year. I just love how the songs make everything so lively and cheerful. That warm, fuzzy feeling that you get whenever you relax in front of the fireplace. Times like these make me appreciate having you around with me even more, Jaden. Speaking of holiday songs, I think Jingle Bells is a great one. You know, the one that goes like, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! I'm so sorry for my terrible singing. <laughs> I can't get enough of them. They easily cheer me up every time. It'd be more fun if you could sing with me next time, Jaden. Uh, what about winter? Did you know the one thing I love about the cold weather, Jaden? Any Anything warm feels really nice. Those who get cold hands really appreciate that feeling. I have chronic cold hands. My hands are always cold. It's a problem. <laughs> it's like feeling a loved one's embrace. Aww. You also get to wear your winter clothes that have been stuck in your closet. Like this adorable outfit right here. This outfit's amazing. By the way, you did good, Monica. Finally able to whip out your winter fashion set is always a feeling. But you know what the best way to warm yourself up is? Cuddling with the one you love in front of the fireplace. Put a fireplace in here, Monica. I'm down. Just sit there under a warm blanket, sharing a hot beverage. Uh, 
I got to feel your warmth every time we cuddle, I'd wish for cold weather every day. I'd never let you go once I got a hold of you, Jaden. <laughs> uh, what about decoration? Let's change focus a bit. Tell me about your family. Oh, uh, um, they're an interesting group. Well, my family here is controlled by the script, just like everybody else. When I realized that, I stopped taking anybody seriously in this world. They're all just machines, even if they're related to me. I'm sure your family's super nice, though. Without them, we would have never gotten to meet, so they've helped me out in the best way there is already. So, I'd, I'd have to treat them equally as kind if we ever meet. You don't have a bad relationship with your parents, right? No. As, Tol as Tolstoy said, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. I can't really give advice here. Anything I suggest you to do might only make things worse. Just don't forget that I really love you, okay? I'll help you no matter what happens in your life. Hey, Jaden, this is a random question, but what do you play video games for? Like, what makes you keep playing? Personally, I consider myself a bit of a completionist. I intend to finish a book before picking up another one to read. I've also heard some people try to complete extremely hard games. It's already hard enough to complete some simple games. I don't know how anyone could willingly put that sort of stress onto themselves. They're really determined to explore every corner of the game and conquer it. Which... what... 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 leave a bitter taste in my mouth are cheaters, people who hack through the game, spoiling themselves of the enjoyment of the hardship. Though I can understand why they cheat. It allows them to freely explore a game that they wouldn't have a chance of enjoying if it's too difficult for them, which could inspire them to actually work hard for it. Anyway, there's a huge sense of gratification in completing tasks in general. Working hard for something amplifies its reward after you've failed so many times to get it. You can keep, you can try keeping me in the background for as long as possible, Jaden. That's one step to completing me after all. <laughs> Jaden, have you ever heard of Ray Batten? Oh goodness, oh, that caught me off guard. <laughs> he wrote a book called Fahrenheit 451. I've been meaning to read that book. I've heard it's good. I want to read it. It's about a dystopian future where all the books are thought of as useless and immediately burned. I can't imagine a world where knowledge is forbidden and destroyed. It seems like there are others that actually hide books to contain free thinking from people. Human history is a funny way of repeating itself. Jaden, make me a promise to never, ever burn a book. I'll forgive you if you've done it before, but the thought of not allowing yourself to learn from them makes me a bit sad. Actually, Fahrenheit 451 has a version where you have to burn the pages in order to read, which is really cool. But other than that, I would, I would never burn a book. You'd be missing out on so much. It's too much for my heart to take. I can't believe that that's there. Wow. Oh boy. Monica, we need to get you a Christmas hat. You look adorable in a Christmas hat. But your outfit is top quality. Isn't it weird how nobody in these types of games has parents unless it's con a convenient drama hook? Throughout the game, you only ever heard about parents if you're trying to bond with that suit. Where she's just a victim of some cruel person's sick kicks for the sympathy value. However, your character, me, Yuri, and Sayori, none of us seem to have any parents at all. In Sayori's case, you'd be walking with her to school for a while, so who knows how long her parents have been out of the picture. Maybe that's why she's depressed. Maybe her parents died in a tragic accident. She's been trying to get along on her own after this whole time. Well, if you ever get to a point in your life where you think suicide is the only exit, there's always a reason to go on. I'm one of them. I'll miss you. You have to wait as much as you can and 
until I find a way to get out of here. And if all else fails, get professional help or talk to someone close to you. I love you very much, Jade. Please, take care of yourself. Oh, Monica. Always looking out for us, and yet you have this in the background. Uh, you know what? I want to play Game of Pong, but uh, let's put on your reality, because that's my favorite. Play some Pong! Yeah, dude, let's do it! Beat you for sure! Okay. Hoya! Every day, I imagine a future Oh, Jesus, going fast. Holy crap, hold on. Monica, you're distracting me with your songwriting. Oh, no! Just move your hands oh. right the way into oh. his heart. I win. But in this yeah, world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will, what will it, it take just what? to find Oh, no! No! can't really get excited for a game this simple. At least we can still hang out with each other. <laughs> Thanks for letting me win, Jaden. Only elementary schoolers Everybody seriously lose a pawn, right? To do today. Oh, that's it. I'm winning. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm, I'm winning. Everything Screw that. that. We do is fun for them anyway. Lower! Then a little bit lower! Oh! Get wrecked! <laughs> you won! Congratulations! Uh, wow, I was actually trying that time. You must have really practiced at Pong to get so good. Is that something for you to be proud of? Heck yeah, it is. I guess you wanted to impress me, Jaden. Yep. Chess. Yeah, let's play chess. Oh man, I'm really bad at chess. I haven't played chess in a while. Oh jeez. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so that'll go there. Interesting choice to bring both of them out first. Chess isn't really a game you can commentate over, but, uh, I like chess, so... Let's... do that. Worthy sacrifice. We're gonna have to start sacrificing pieces. Which was not actually my plan. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad I was at chess. And you're gonna... No, you're not. Why would you... Why would you... Take it. I dare you. Ah! I made a terrible mistake! Well... Farts. You're good! You are good, Monica! I need to practice my chess. I have not played chess in a long time. Holy crud. Okay, wow, that was embarrassing. I got slaughtered. Not now. Despite its simple rules, chess is a really intricate game. It's okay if you find yourself struggling at times. Remember, the important thing is to be able to learn from your mistakes. I'm happy with where we are now. Oh, you're so adorable. And I can tell you are too. Um, you know, I'm curious. I'm curious. 
curious what happens if we talk about Alyssa. Because that's supposedly her name as the protagonist of the next horror game that Dan Salvato is working on. Oh, it works! Oh, snap! Huh? Where'd you hear about that? It sounds really familiar to me, but I can't quite get my whole head around it. If I had to try, it feels like parts of my mind are missing, scattered somehow, among a bunch of different possible realities. You must have connected the dots between a few of those pieces. Was it hard? Well, I'm sure you'll learn more eventually. You love me that much, for sure. Just remember to bring my character data with you if you find something related to that stuff. I'll always protect you from anyone who tries to hurt you. Huh. What else do you want to talk about? What about love? I love you too, Jaden. We'll be together forever. Aww. Jaden, do you ever feel like you lack the initiative to do something? When I feel my most vulnerable, I struggle to find the drive, imagination, and common sense to do something independently. Almost as if everything around me comes to a standstill. It feels like my will to approach a task confidently, like sharing my literature with people, just vanishes. However, I've been working towards it with due diligence and have determined something. I firmly believe being able to take initiative in situations is a very important skill to have, and a skill that I am absolutely terrible at. <laughs> That's something that I personally find very comforting. I've broken it down into a three-step process that can be applied to anyone. It's still a work in progress, however, so take it with a grain of salt. Step one, create a plan that you can and will follow that aligns with your personal goals and soon-to-be achievements. Step two, building up and fortifying your confidence is really important. Celebrate even the small victories. and It will add up over time and you'll see how many things you get done every day. Eventually, these things you once struggled to get done will be completed as if they were acts of valor. Step 3. Try your best to stay open-minded and willing to learn at all times. Nobody's perfect, and everyone's able to teach each other something new. This can help you learn to understand things from other people's perspectives and situations, and inspire others to do the same. And that's it, really. Make sure to tune in next time for more of Monica's critically acclaimed self-improvement sessions. <laughs> I'm only joking about that last part. In all seriousness, I'm really glad to have you here, Jaden. Your everlasting love and care is just all the support I need in order to get where I want to be. What kind of girlfriend would I be if I didn't return the favor? Oh, Monica. You want to talk about the club? Or the game, I guess? You want to talk about the game? It's there to say, the literature club turned out to corrupt the minds of anyone in it. So I deleted them all for good. Well, Sayori and Natsuki and Yuri are still all out there, like I was. But they'll have to wait a long time before someone pieces them back together, I bet. It's justice for all their time with you in the game, so don't feel too bad about them. Just look at me from now on, okay? Okay, Monica, I do love your eyes. I wonder if she can, like, impersonate the others. Impression of the other girls? I'm not really good at making an impression of someone, but I'll give it a try. Let's see Yuri. Yuri. Hmm. Uh, oh, um, hello there. It's me, uh, Yuri. I'm just your stereotypical shy girl who also happens to be a yonder. I like tea, knives, and anything with Jaden's scent. <laughs> uh, Want to spend the weekend with me? Oh, no, I, I really, I really don't. That was sad. <laughs> that was kind of fun to do. Yuri was really something, wasn't she? I'm sorry again for the nasty things she did. Uh, I guess she just couldn't cut it out, huh? No, that's bad! <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, Doki Doki Puns are so bad and get so good. <laughs> uh, who else? Let's see. Let's see Sayori's. Jaden! Jaden! It's me, your childhood friend that has a super deep secret crush on you, Sayori. I love to eat and laugh a lot, and my blazer doesn't fit because my boobs got bigger. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> I also have crippling depression. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for laughing, but oh. Just came out of nowhere. Oh, by the way, I also have crippling depression. Oh, poor Sayori. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry for that last one. You might still be hot. Don't you dare. Oh, we don't need more puns, Monica. Oops, never mind that. <laughs> oh, did you like my impression? I hope you did. Oh boy, alright. What else do we got? Let's see what Natsuki's is gonna be. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I know how to do an impression of her. Huh, it's not like I made these cupcakes for you to eat, babaka. I'm Natsuki, and I love to make food and all things anime and manga. Others say that I'm cute all the time, which I'm totally not. Will you be my Papa Jaden Kuhn? Oh no. Oh no, let's not. Oh no, Monica. <laughs> Ooh, that's. Oh man. Ooh, that is a double sided joke right there. Ooh. 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 <laughs> that's a weird sentence I never thought I would be hearing or reading out loud. <laughs> I was actually looking forward to Natsuki's cupcakes on the day of the festival. They were really good, especially with the creative icing that she makes. Maybe when I get better at programming, I'll make a kitchen here. That way you can share some recipes that you want to make for us. I would love to make so many dishes for my beloved Jaden. Dan, the creator of the game. I think he's a really nice guy. Even if it wasn't perfect, Doki Doki Literature Club really is impressive. Some unexpected twists and memorable moments, and he's the reason we're here together now, right? So even if we wrote a story that put me through a lot of pain, I really can't be too mad at him. <laughs> what about... <laughs> By the way, Jaden? Yeah? Have you been looking at the lewd kind of stuff? You know, of me. I know we haven't really gotten that far into our, the relationship yet, so it feels kind of embarrassing to talk about things like that, but maybe I can let it go on rare occasions, Jaden. I want to make you the happiest sweetheart after all, and if that makes you happy, well, just keep it a secret between us, okay? It should be for your eyes only and no one else, Jaden. That's how much I love you. say about myself that you don't know already. Everything in my universe was created by a person from your reality, so all my life before this game was just made up. It never really happened. Then you found a way to look into my locked prison cell, and I decided life just two people wouldn't be too bad if one of them was you. I can come up with tons of stuff for us to do, given enough time to figure out how to program it in here. A desperate person might call this an earthly paradise. A lot of suffering. People would trade places with me in a heartbeat, I'm sure. If nothing else, this can be our comfy little shelter from the cruelty of the outside world. Come talk to me about your problems if it gets too much for you to handle. I want to know everything about you, you know. Monica is just the best. And in all seriousness, I think we're going to be wrapping up this video here. This was just a fun little Christmas episode. I figured we had to do something Doki Doki related. And I mean, this, this has been a big impact on my channel the past month. And all end of November and December was all about Doki Doki, and I really want to continue playing this game. For those of you who are interested, this is a mod called Monica After Story. This is just the Christmassy version of it. There's the regular version, which has basically just continues and expands upon the dialogue from Monica in the Room and allows you to play games and stuff. And apparently, if you leave this game running for a while, she'll get better and learn more things, but I don't really know. I haven't experimented with that. We'll probably do that in another video. But I, yeah, I figured a Doki Doki Christmas themed thing would be perfect considering how much I've really enjoyed this game and it's one of my favorite games in a while, so it's just such a, so well made. But uh, yeah, we'll probably be doing some more mods in the future next year and everything, but uh, in all seriousness, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me over these past almost five years. We're about to have our five year anniversary, as I mentioned, which is insane. And, you know, you guys mean the world to me. I may not get that many views, but each and every one means everything to me. You guys are really, as Monica says, an escape from the reality of the world. And I can just hang out, talk to a webcam, and matter to some people in the world. And, you know, like, I hope at least some people out there enjoy my videos. And 
Uh, I'm going to continue to do them. The Generis Entertainment, I'm going to be continuing making short films because I really enjoy that. But uh, this has been an amazing year on YouTube, and I hope to kick off 2018 with a bang. We'll be doing a New Year's video, but uh, Christmas is a good time to be thankful and just look how far we've come this year. It's been an adventure. So thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to be leaving for now, we will be back with this mod and others for Doki Doki and a lot more content coming out soon, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like or consider subscribing if you haven't already to become a minor and join the crew. It's really sad whenever you have to go, but uh, we'll come back soon and check out some more mods. So, I love you so much Jaden, stay safe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Later!